16 ton mineral wagons and adding a coal load with Hatton's coal and Cambrian wagons, Airfix wagons and cling film. Hello, welcome back everybody. Um, I just thought I'd do a small video on adding loads into um, wagons. I made a comment on one of Tony North Eastern's um, videos uh, about using cling film um, to stop the glue from sticking the loads into the wagons. Obviously this allows um, the loads to be removed at a later date, uh, but the main reason I do it is to stop the glue when it shrinks if you use PVA. Um, from pulling the sides of the wagon in, which looks a little unsightly. Um, so what I tend to do is line the wagon with a little bit of cling film. So I've put together some bits and pieces here on, um, not necessarily how to, but just some ideas on, on putting your wagon loads in uh, to try and help people out. Um, this one here has got a, a metal balance weight in it, so it'll actually pop out. Um, if, if you want to quickly do it, which is handy for an exhibition or um, you're running a through train and you want to show it loaded in one direction and empty in the other direction. Um, I have here the Hatton's coal load, uh, which is already crushed uh, to a regular size. I have made my own crushed coal before now. It's very time consuming and it's quite difficult to sieve it to the the right size and gauge. I've also got here uh, some Mod Podge mat, uh, which I've mixed 50-50, and a little bit of um, washing up liquid or dish soap uh, in there. Um, and that's that's mixed up into a, a little jam jar. Now, these are very useful. These are about five pounds for 12 from Hobbycraft in the UK. And I put um, weathering powders in some of them or, or liquids I've made up or IPA or whatever. Um, and there's the right size not to waste too much product. I have some stick on car balance weights um, and some five mil foam board. Um, the foam board here was uh, five sheets. I think they were 4 99 once again from the range. And I have some matte black paint. Um, this is very dense pigment, very good for covering inside of buildings. Or here, I'm just using it over the, the balance weight. Um, so if I just go through, we've got, um, these are just Airfix wagons I've been playing with. Uh, reset this. What's this? About 29 mil by 63. And obviously if you just make it a little undersized, it makes it a little easier to come out. These things are a lot more difficult to do when you're filming them. Let's see how it fits. A nice slot fit there and there. And we're gonna add a little bit of board into the bottom just to raise it up a bit. So this is Gorilla Glue, but uh, PVA would do this fine. So has problems with these, but I always have problems getting that to uh, to work. Move that. That, that was set, and then we use a I use a five gram balance weight. If you use too heavy a balance weight at the top of the wagon, you'll find the wagon will rock a lot more. The best place to stick the balance weights is um, underneath 
um, but obviously then you wouldn't have your magnetic ability to pull your load out. Um, so, as for this one, yeah. so it's up to you. You can actually make them tip and come out, so you don't actually have to put the balance weights in. So you can do that. We'll just cut one off on there, it's just to show you. Just plonk it in the middle. That's put a slight lump in the load as well. Um, I've also paint this with some with the paint to stop it from showing through. There we go. You can see it does cover very well with just one one coat of paint. I'll put that to the side and let that one dry. In that Move. create a little bit of space and uh, battle with the cling film. There we go. Now we just cut a square or a rectangle cling film out. Pop that in. I'm in my conservatory and I seem to be joined by pigeons on my roof at the moment. That's the club up as you can hear above. I just want to tease this and make sure minimise the number of wrinkles. Sometimes just to work in a container lid so you can uh, pick it up afterwards. Easier. And I'm going to hit it with some aftershave. Not really, just joking. IPA. Too stingy to buy myself an atomizer bottle. Since a lot of um, aftershaves are alcohol based, I thought, hmm, see if we can get some IPA in there. And it works. It works as a little atomizer. Very handy. And then we're going to drop in some of this mixture, which is 50% water, 50% mud bodge, matte. So you don't end up with a glossy film over it and a little bit of dish soap. This will probably be best left overnight of 24 hours to set. When I find I remove the cling film, um, there's usually a little bit of it left unset. And then you just take the load out and let it dry, peel it off around the edges. Um, sometimes you have to hit, hit it with a little bit more, but that looks sufficient. Just a few bubbles, and just give it a little mist. Uh, 
and that's it really um, once it's set you can just lift it out it's not stuck in forever um, I'm also going to do this on I've got a J39 I'm working on um, so I'm going to use that on the coal load on that so I might do a little clip on that as well hopefully that's of interest and I look forward to uh, speaking to you again soon uh, please like and subscribe it all helps on uh, growing the channel and helps with YouTube promoting it out and about um, uh, also I'm working on weathering these wagons these are really old airfix wagons Dapol make them now um, and I've been trying experimenting with different chipping and weathering techniques if this is of interest I could perhaps do a, another shorter video on that this is a Cambry one a little five gram weight on we put some coupling hooks and bits and pieces on these um, but it's all about learning as you go along you just have to try these things out thank you very much bye